Hello everyone. I have a dream that I'm going to share with you all. And before I start, I just want to pray, Lord, thank you, Jesus, for this day, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father. Think through my mind and speak through my vocal cords, Lord. I'm just your vessel, Lord, and I want to be obedient to the things that you tell me to uh, do, Lord. And I pray for everyone else that is on the other end of this listening, Lord. I pray that you give them ears to hear you, Lord, and eyes to see, Father, the things that you want them to see in the spirit and the heart to get to know you more, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So in this dream, I was watching a movie and as I'm watching this movie, my vision changed from me actually watching it to me viewing it inside of the movie. And when I'm in this movie, I, I'm standing behind this man and this man is facing down a long tunnel as if he's looking into the future. And I'm standing behind him and I hear this man say, I saw a generation vax. They are doing things their way and they want to write people off. When I woke up, the Holy Spirit was urging me to put this in my phone. The Lord was showing me that there will be a new generation vaccine coming. They will try to push this vaccine on people and basically disregard what other people's personal beliefs are. So I wanted to talk about fear because um, sometimes when uh, people hear these types of messages, they easily slip into fear. And fear is a spirit that does not come from God. I want to read 2 Timothy 1, 7. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. And I want to also read Hebrews 13, 6. It says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. When you walk with the Lord, you have a certain level of boldness and you know that the Lord helps you. He shows you things to come. He leads you and protects you and guides you. And when you know who your God is, when you know you serve the creator of the universe, you don't fear anything or anyone. And that's why it says in Hebrews, what man shall do unto me? Man can't do anything to you when you truly walk with the Lord. That's why it's so important to stay intimate with God, learning who he is, reading his words, spending time with him every day. You can hear his voice when he tells you what to do when anyone tries to push anything on you. So I love you all. I'm always praying for you all every single day. And you all have a blessed day in Jesus' name.